Hi there. I have a morphology tip for you and your students today using a simple tray that I will show you in just a minute. Sometimes when we're trying to help our students visualize and learn the meanings of words, it can be a little tricky to pull out what each individual morphine means for kids. So here is a way to help them visualize the way these words work and also to help them learn the meanings. And this is for greater utility, um, for deepening their understanding, for building their vocabulary, and of course, it will help them in reading comprehension when they see these words in context. So what I have is a plastic tray that I found at a dollar store. And it's pretty small here, but it has four sections. And I cut out some paper arrows and taped them in sort of this crisscross motion. And what we're going to do is create a crisscross model or diagram to see the meanings of these words. And so when you do this, you'll notice this has a dry erase surface on it. You could also just use it on a piece of paper. If you wanted, you could even put morphine cards on there. But after you do that, uh, you want to have well, a very squeaky marker. <laughs> it doesn't want to, the cap doesn't want to come off, does it? Um, you want to have them record maybe on a piece of paper or on some uh, whiteboard, wherever you have them um, recording the meanings of words, maybe a binder or something. So let's start with transport. So I'm going to write, um, so this is a dry erase surface. I've already tried it out. Trans and trans pointing to this arrow down here means across. And then port. I'll put the meaning here. Okay. Transport. Trans across port carry. So what does transport mean? I would have the students say transport means to carry across. So by putting in these this these morphemes into a crisscross diagram, they can see the meaning of the word. Now, we know sometimes when we put in um, different morphemes, the meaning may not be like 100% apparent at that time, and that may be due to an etym etymological change over time with the way we use certain morphemes. You know, things have changed over time in history, but some of these are really clear cut. So for instance, transport meaning to carry across, that's a very simple word for children to learn and use in their writing. Um, and so I would have them write down the meaning and then you can practice building the different um, related words to that, like transporting, transported, transports, and making sentences with those. So let's do a different one. Let's try extract. Okay, and in this case, I'm talking about out of. So X out of, tract, to pull. X is out of, tract, to pull. Extract means to pull out of. And if you wanted to show like a bottle of vanilla extract and how we started with the vanilla bean and then we um, pulled out the flavor from those seeds and added, you know, they add alcohol to there and then it becomes an extract. So that could be one example um, to pull out of. Uh, so 
try this out with your students and let me know how it goes. So once again, this is just a little plastic divided tray. It's a little smaller than a piece of paper. And I just taped little paper arrows there that I just made and printed out from my computer. And then try it out with the different morphemes and the meanings and see if that helps your students with understanding the meanings of these words and practice writing them and learning those definitions. Have a great day.